be sure you see it there to bring back this organic matter right to the edges you know we hate planting and opening up the organic matter and then planting the seedling but when you know it you haven't brought the organic matter back and it's really important that you do so you give it that nest like feeling as we've shown here forget about sustainability you want to enrich ecosystems every bean is equipped to leave a positive energetic balance keep it pruned we are cultivating abundance not a problem to cut down trees the problem is not planting them yo what is up agroforestry academy crew listen up guys today i'm here in my daughter's school and you know this is something i'm incredibly proud of and i think it's uh, i urge people to do similar actions where we're actually helping you know kids you know grow up where they actually can you know contemplate the idea of actually you know producing their own food or maybe even making a career out of this and things like that so a lot of the times they're in school and they you know they're getting taught you know you know you'll be successful if you're a lawyer if you're a doctor or anything like that but uh rarely you know there's someone there telling you you know you can be really prosperous with producing food and things like that so uh i make a big point of always taking part in my daughter's school where wherever she is you know help out there so she's just moved to this school let's have a look at what's happening here so we've got a couple of beds obviously uh the pandemic you know was is around and you know there, was, there has been nothing done here for the last year so we're just starting things over we're starting off with a very 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 good black soil uh, they've obviously bought this compost a while back when they first made this here we've already manured it we're using a my own chicken manure from from my own house so i'm bringing in some quality uh quality manure from home and we've got a friend here glaison giving us a hand neighbor there at the farm and uh we're just doing a little bit of the weeding and uh let's get right to it uh, we get the kids in in the afternoon basically the kids are responsible to plant for planting we're just preparing the soil and they're going to come in and plant it's the first time around so we, we're doing all the work you know we working with the hose and some machetes we're cutting down some bananas to cover the soil i really want to make a point you know these banana trunks here they were actually uh just in the bin over there so we've actually recovered them and we're going to be pruning some other bananas around the school to use as organic matter we really want to leave a message where you know use what you have locally so we're going to use this and some trimmings of the grass and that should be fantastic all right so Let's follow up on that soon. All right, so I don't know if you can tell, but we've done just, just a slight slope, just a very small, slight slope there. Uh, you know, if you've been following our videos, you know why all that energy falling into the center, we don't be losing. Even though we've got the walls, still want to work within the principles. And uh, almost like you can't tell when you put this organic matter. This is just grass clippings from school, okay? It's not going to be enough because they haven't been collecting it. So we're going to be using some of the bananas to cover some of these beds all right guys so this is what it's looking like at the moment so we've gone ahead we've prepared three three beds two with the grass cuttings and one with the banana cuttings as well so yeah when, like we said previously we found these bananas already in the rubbish and uh, these needed to be pruned down and it's just a great great way to to show people you know that we use the organic material that we have and bananas are so fantastic for that bananas you know it's irrigation if you're in the drought you can really account for you know a good 50 days worth of irrigation just from the bananas in in, in many cases uh, depending on the climate and now we're still in the rain season so even if we go for like what 10 days 15 days you know no rain it's not not even gonna blink you know the irrigation is done with the bananas right there so we're now waiting for the kids to come in in the afternoon and we're gonna get these seedlings in the ground. Yeah, so we've got some okra, okra, uh, some aubergine, some tomato, lettuces. Yeah, really nice. All right, guys, at this stage, we've got a lot down on the ground. The kids have been active. Uh, it's been raining, so uh, we've had to help them out, fill, fill in. Uh, some of the spots but you know they've been able to come out and plant themselves so we've got, we've got a nice consortium here we've got the aubergines uh, we've got the kale 
we've got uh, some tomatoes in the middle you can see it there and some lettuces all around we're still going to fill it up with, with more lettuce everywhere else okay here we're going to plant some okras we put down uh, uh carrot seeds it just 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 came to me like it would be really nice to plant some carrots down these lines so we have done as you can see some of the carrot seeds there put a little bit of rock dust here a bit of lime and things like that uh so there's some carrot seeds here and we're going to plant okras you know just just really thinned out three okras per line you know there's a lot of sun coming in still for the carrots uh yeah so let's let's wait till it's all done and and get back to you on that all right guys so the kids got it going on uh, it was raining so we finished up for them but it was really great experience uh, so this is what we've been doing you know we're opening up the holes and planting those vegetable seedlings as you do just like that you know a little squash around them there to firm it up and be sure to bring that organic matter back around that vegetable seedling all right it's you know we're not only giving you know we're not only mulching to retain water to you know to shade for the animals for the micro uh you know for the for the life in the soil to be happy there but it also we're giving shade for the roots these lettuces are going to grow the roots are going to grow and the roots are going to maintain fresh and you know hydrated uh in hot days so yeah always be sure you see it there to bring back this organic matter right to the edges you know we hate planting and opening up the organic matter and then planting the seedling but when you know it you haven't brought the organic matter back and it's really important that you do so you give it that nest like feeling as we've shown here okay so it's three days later and you can see you know that the seedlings have started to pop up yeah the carrot seedlings the carrot seeds hasn't really popped up yet but you know uh, we didn't expect that in three days and you can see yeah all the all the vegetable seedlings are looking good are you all right guys so we're back here a couple of weeks later and it's beautiful to see that you know things really did kick off no irrigation but it has been raining quite steadily maximum one sometimes two days without rain real low amount of weeding you know just enough grass there to keep you know the soil covered the rains have been really heavy so you know in places it's actually washed away that mulch all right but it's still very very little bit of weed in there because the mulch did hold that back as well okay so yeah so just excited just to show you guys how things have developed so we've got the the lettuce iceberg lettuces we've got you know all, all our vegetation there the tomatoes these are the quails kales kales quails so i can't get mixed up in translation all right yeah i've got the the aubergine there yeah so they're, they're going to be coming up pretty nice we've got the aubergines in the center here but it's really clear where where there's organic matter and the aubergine and then where there's no organic matter the aubergine see it's very 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 distinct the difference in in its you know evolution uh so that's pretty interesting here with our carrots yeah our carrots is coming on really nice it's in between the bananas we've been this, discussing this in in our groups of you know how we like to plant carrots and i just i basically love planting carrots in between the banana trunks um i mean you could want to cover that soil a little bit with uh you know maybe some really dry uh cow or horse manure just like powder like or maybe some like uh, uh you know from rice 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 skin you know that peeling from the rice um sometimes people use it for horse bedding and things like that if you have a real thin material you can give it a little sprinkle over the carrots uh, here we didn't uh, it means that you know the rain washed out some of the seeds as well in certain places so the, the carrot is not as homogenic everywhere but we're gonna have a nice bit of carrots all right yeah looking really nice in these okras here so triple lines of okras right one two three so we've seen this when we planted it we're coming back here just to show you and uh yeah so i mean the school's really excited the kids are really excited and uh well i know from working in the past with these kids uh in, in other schools and other kids as well you know they're like oh you know i don't eat beet roots i don't like beets but then you know they planted it and then they've gone back they've harvested it and now they're really excited they're like no this is my beet i want to eat this one and and you know and then they go ahead and they make like beets burger and things like that 
and then all of a sudden the kids are eating the vegetable they're happy about it so it's so important I mean you know this kind of work to be done in schools this kind of work to be done in, in local buildings and things like that where, you know for local communities benefits so we really need to also think outside the box not only necessarily produce at home as a commercial but also how can we pass this information how can we encourage more people because these kids they could want to be you know a firefighter a police officer they might want to be a lawyer or a doctor but here they have the opportunity you know if they want to produce food there's also that opportunity i just want to make that clear to them that they have this as as, as a chance as, as an option as well sometimes people live in urban centers and they don't see it as an option you know to grow up and be like a food producer you know where they can get into agriculture and you know agroforestry you know so like you know agriculture in forestry style so we'll be teaching them about the principles and things like that and i'm really excited about that so i'll be coming back here and showing you guys you know more of the project sometime soon all right so yeah so from the agroforestry academy thanks for being around once again till next time